Hello, hello, boys and girls, this is Understeel, of course, and welcome back to another World of Tank replays. At this time, I actually got two replays for you guys in the E100 German Tier 10 Heavy Tank. And this is just a wonderful, magnificent son of a bitch of a tank. I definitely recommend you guys get it. Uh, it is definitely worth upgrading from the E75 to this guy. It is extremely enjoyable to play when you learn how to play it. I had some big issues with this tank the first 20 to 30 matches because I didn't quite know how to behave in it because it, it kind of behaves differently than other tanks and I'm gonna go into that as soon as possible. The second replay I have is with the upgraded gun, the 150mm one because this is the stock gun and I thought I would kind of show replays of both of them to kind of show uh, the comparisons and, and just show it off to you guys simply because I I know a lot of you guys want to like know about uh, what kind of difference the different guns have and that kind of stuff. So uh, the armor on this beast is magnificent. It's really good armored. You have 200 armor in the front obviously with a weakness in the lower plates. You always want to angle your tank or side scrape when possible. You have 120 armor on the side but the thing is that it is actually spaced armor so you will be able to bounce a lot of shots from the side if you have it angled so side scraping is a, a must do in this tank if you want to enjoy it that when it comes to the rear armor you have a whopping 150 rear armor so you can even bounce shots in the ass of this tank that just makes it into a big ass steel box that hardly can get penetrated from anywhere unless if the enemy is using gold rounds or if you are in a bad position when it comes to the turret you have a whopping 250 armor in the front you have a little bit weaker armor on the sides you're only 150 but really you won't si show the sides of your armor that much so you don't need much more than that and you actually got 200 armor in the back of the turret but it is flat but you can still bounce some shots from there as well uh, the most important thing to think about in this tank though I'm not gonna do so much of the good stuff in this matchup because this is kind of before I learned how to really play with this tank but one of the most important important things is not only to side scrape but also angle your turret armor. The best way to angle your turret armor is for example if you're side scraping out to the right then aim your gun to the left so you kind of have a little bit of the side armor showing of the turret that helps this front of the turret that's quite quite flat normally to bounce uh, heat shots and also high penetrating shots because even if you have 250 armor that's not enough to stop some shots from coming in from the front and it will definitely help to angle it and that's kind of what I discovered and made the tank extremely enjoyable for me so uh, when it comes to the guns you have two guns to choose between everything else is uh, is fully upgraded straight away or, or stock or whatever. The stock gun, that's the one I'm playing with right here, it's 128 millimeter. It has pretty much the same qualifications or the same stats as it does on the E75 before the E100. So you get 250 penetration and about 490 alpha damage and you save about one second on the reload speed on the E100 compared to the E75. So instead of about 13 seconds it takes about 12 seconds to reload another shot. So you definitely don't gain much when it comes to DPM upgrading to this tank. What you really gain is good armor and also a lot of health points. But when you get the top tier gun on this tank, that's when you start to have a lot of fun. Because that's a 150mm gun that does 750 alpha damage and has 230 penetration, so only 20 less. Not much actually to cry about. You can still penetrate basically everything you could penetrate before upgrading to the new gun. And it only takes about 16 seconds to reload, so you actually gain a lot of DPM damage per minute by switching to the really big ass gun. Obviously it's gonna be a little bit waste of time sometimes when you shoot a damaged enemy but you can really lay down the law and do some extremely damaging first shots on the enemies even if you don't finish them off. So it's it's just, oh this tank is just so good to play when you learned how to use it. When you learn how to angle the armor on the turret and when you learn how to side scrape properly, I'm not really doing that in this match like I said I just kinda got lucky. This tank is gonna be the most reliable heavy tank you can have in your garage or okay I'm not gonna lie I mean 
heck, I only have a couple of heavy tanks. I only have two uh, tier 10 heavy tanks for God's sakes, so I shouldn't say too much. But this is definitely the most enjoyable tank I've ever played in World of Tanks so far. Because you, you can match after match after match do really well in it. I don't think I've had a single match the last 70 matches where I did less than 3000 damage in this tank. I've had a lot of matches, for example, in the T57 Heavy, where I done maybe only 400 damage or 800 damage and got killed straight away because you don't have a lot of armor, you don't have a lot of health, you only have that massively good gun with great DPM. So the E100 is an excellent heavy tank, it's just so damn enjoyable to play. And that's also why I'm not talking that much about this gameplay because I make so many mistakes like, in here. So I, I, like, I don't feel like there's much I can point out that I did good here. Uh, the next replay is uh, gonna be way better, but for, for a lot of different reasons you're gonna notice in the next replay, I couldn't have done much better simply because I was kind of overwhelmed by... I crap ton of enemies let's just say it like that so but i'm battling the e75 now and the t57 heavy i shot my shot in the t57 heavy he comes out to get me as you can see i'm not even angling the turret armor so i'm definitely doing some huge mistakes here uh, you do have one weak spot though on the turret armor and that is that steel beam and the commander's uh, i guess hatch it's not a hatch it's more or less like a lookout hole i tried to go for a lower plate shot on the e75 i don't penetrate because he angled well, he penetrates me because I didn't angle. I was a doofus, uh, a retard. I should have side scraped there and really done better. So you definitely want to try to make sure they can't aim for that upper part if you see them aiming for it. You want to try to avoid it as much as possible and you're gonna definitely see this guy doing that here and I'm not even, I don't even know about this weak spot at the moment. I think, I think this is an impenetrable fortress in the top but boom and I'm dead. So the E75 did a really good job, he knew where I had my weak spots, uh, he definitely aimed for the right spots and uh, did really well. But I ended up doing 6000 damage and actually got only one kill. Still that is pretty goddamn good stuff, I, I think I did well and I definitely think I, I brought my team to victory together with the 121 uh, medium tank that's also tier 10. I don't know, is that a Chinese or is that a... I'm pretty sure that's a Chinese tank and not a Russian tank. I'm not. I'm not 100% sure though. I uh, kind of fast forwarding here through the replay just to kind of get to the end so you can see how it ends. But we're we're down to the match chat versus our RT and our medium and our medium finishes him off really nicely there in the end. And when we look at the score screen, it's just happy camping all over. Look at that high caliber. <laughs> we got Confederate since we did a ton of damage and got only one kill. Master Gunner. We also got Sharpshooter and obviously Mastery Ace Badge, so we did extremely well. We did 6,500 damage. That is a lot. Uh, we got only one kill, but we definitely did best in our team and also 800 damage cost to our assistance. And we blocked a measly 1,100 with our armor, but that's because I didn't do very well. But already here you can see 64% win ratio. Already here I'm doing quite well, but the average damage isn't that great yet. So here's a replay with the 150mm cannon of awesomeness. And this is why it does 750 the alpha damage like I mentioned earlier has 230 penetration not the best penetration but it's definitely okay you can you can penetrate most tanks with it and if you can't penetrate the tank you can just load the gold ammo it has a penetration of 330 millimeters and even the HE uh, the explosive or high explosive ammunition is actually quite useful it has 85 millimeters of penetration and does a whopping 900 and 50 alpha damage so if you know you're going up against a medium or a light tank you can kill some of those suckers in just one single shot for example this bat chat <laughs> look at that guy oh he peeks out for like a second and loses half his health in that second that is just bad bad luck but he could have been um, worse for luck 
I could have loaded an HE round right there first and planted that into him doing almost a thousand damage instead of just 837. But 837 damage still kind of sucks if you only have 1800 health points to move about with, so yeah. The American tier 10 heavy, I see his commander Tricopola, put one into him and he just lost 30% of his health with just one of my shots. That gotta suck as well. Does 695 damage. I make sure to move up against the rock because I know they have the T92, a very powerful artillery. I plant another shot in the T110 E5 American Heavy. That does another 737 damage to him. He's down to 30% or 35% of his health. But right now we're getting pushed here from a lot of different directions. Uh, e immediately medium tank and a light tank is coming in from the side. I'm taking a shot from uh, the American T110E5 uh, and I managed to plant one though into the AMX 1390 so that was at least good. I tried to side scrape as good as possible here, I don't want to take any more shots but he loads a, a gold round and he does penetrate with it because I wasn't angling my turret armor but I do put one in his commander Scupola finishing it off and uh, did a total of 2200 damage to him in 3 shots and killed him giving us 3700 damage and and one kill. Put one into the Centurion, I just bounced a shot earlier from the IS-7 on the side of my turret thanks to him not taking the proper time to actually aim, but that's because he's pretty low on health. I'm still in a pretty bad situation here, I'm kind of backed up by the T-34 and the L'Oreal 40, but uh, that's pretty much it, I'm kind of alone here, so I decide to finish off the AMX 1390, and now the IS is coming in to shoot me, and the Centurion, and even the T-54E1. So there's a lot of enemy tanks here gunning for me, there's four of them, actually five of them if you would count the T-34 that hasn't showed himself in a while, so I'm greatly outnumbered. And there we go, we get another shot in, and that's the T-34 that penetrates, and then we get shot in the back, didn't even manage to bounce that uh, from the Centurion, but we put one into the T-34 and makes him lose 50% of his health straight up there. Oh, you like that T-34? You wanna peek me again, bitch? Hey, hey, you wanna peek me again? <laughs> Uh, but we took another shot from the IS-7, so now we're down to 287 hit points, and we're still a little bit outnumbered, but the Panther 2 is coming in to try to help me. I'm trying to side scrape to get the T-34 here, I'm having some issues, but now I got him, sweet. We're up to 6100 damage and 3 kills, good stuff. I want to try to get the IS-7, but someone else finishes him, the Panther 2 got him, and now the T-54E1 is still standing standing here, so I want to plant one into him, boom, and he goes down, sadly, the artillery picks me off right there, god fucking damn it, <laughs> uh, but we did a whopping 6,759 damage and 4 kills, it's just the mouse and the artillery left, now it's just artillery left, and our T-54 is just gunning for this sucker, he's gonna go down. I'm like, GG boys, GG, we did fine, we did really, really fine. So, as you can see, this match is considerably shorter, and I did a considerable amount of extra damage or additional damage compared to the other gun. We also got 1300 assist damage as well, so we got a shit ton of cash, a shit ton of experience, and overall a really good match. The battle just lasted uh, four minutes and three seconds for me and in those four minutes and three seconds I managed to do almost 7,000 damage so that kind of tells you that yeah, the 150mm gun is definitely something you want to use. I still got 64% win or 62% win ratio, and I almost got the mark of excellence on the gun as well. I already got the mark of excellence now, but uh, obviously this replay is a little bit older than what I played recently. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos or the replays. As usual, thank you guys so very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.